I S U P K. Hispanics and native people. We, we know what I'm saying, we could be doing anything else with our Saturdays like y'all, but we coming out here because we tired of seeing our people go through the hell that they get to go through every day. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we out here, man. And we also out here because it's, it's what it's, it is of the Lord for us to be out here. You know what I'm saying? Grab Isaiah 58. You know what I'm saying? It's of the Lord for us to be out here, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we have to do. We gonna stay out here, man. We gonna wake our people up, man, because, you know what I'm saying? We are the only people actually trying to fix black people. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? We the ones out here. You know, being in the ISUPK, under Commander Jerry out at of 125th Harlem, New York, ain't no such thing as being homeless with us. Damn right. You know, our brothers and sisters ain't homeless. Right. Our brothers and sisters ain't hungry. Our brothers and sisters don't have to sell dope to each other. Damn you know what I'm right. saying? Because we look out for one another. Damn right. We make sure each other have everything they need, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That, that is what goes on in the ISUPK, man, on the Commander Journey of Hunter. He has raised us up to be real soldiers of the Lord. Damn right! You gonna ask your Christian pastor for something? He gonna go tell you to ask Jesus. You know what I mean? He gonna, that's what he gonna do. He gonna say, go pray to Jesus, and you know what I'm saying? Maybe that'll get your rent paid. But a couple years ago, you know, every year, Commander Journey of Hunter gave over $80,000, you know what I'm saying, to help blacks, Hispanics, and natives with bills. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? With, 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 with medical insurance, with funeral barriers. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? We, we actually do this work, man. We out here all over the country. We go all through the earth. You know what I'm saying? Fixing black people. We go and, and, and house black people. When I, like I said, blacks, Hispanics, and natives. We, we feed people. You know what I'm saying? We, we cook the food sometimes with our cookouts. Other times we just get out the food with our food truck. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? We actually out here doing this work all over the country, man. So go, if you really love black people, man, go on isupk.com or come in and, and, and donate, man, and to, to the man of the Lord that's really doing this work. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Go donate, man. But, 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 but I said all that to say, man, the Christian church is a liar. Damn right. The Christian right. church is the house of Satan, Damn and they right. have lied to you. This is some more love that we came out here to show. We came out here to show you that the Christian church is a liar. You know what I'm saying? The Muslim mocks is not for black people. That is the air of God. You know what I'm saying? Buddha, the Asians, that's they God. And that this Bible is the nigga God. This is the black God. This is the black Hispanics and native God. This is our God in this Bible. You know what I'm saying? And we go, we gonna get into the scriptures to show you that this is our God, man. But for people who wondering why we out here, we gonna just get a scripture to show you why we out here doing this work, man. Let's get it. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. The scripture said, cry aloud. Keep going. Spare not. Man, we came out here to cry aloud and we ain't sparing no feelings. You know what I'm saying? We don't care about no feelings. That's, that's why we come out here and tell you that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right, right. And that the black Hispanics and natives are the chosen people of the Lord. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Nobody tell you that you're the chosen people. But you are. It's not a coincidence that the black Hispanics and natives are better than everybody and everything. Yeah, it's right. not a coincidence that the black woman is the most beautiful thing on the planet. Yeah, that's what right. says yeah. the Lord. It ain't a coincidence that the black man is the strongest, smartest being on the planet, man. That is that says the Lord, man. You know what I mean? That is what the Lord has given us. The Lord said he has chosen us 
to be a special people above all people on the earth. Damn right. Even in our worst state, we out here in our worst state, we out here killing each other, selling drugs to each other, pouring our sisters out. Right. We in our worst state, but the whole earth still wants to be just like you. Right. You know what I'm saying? The whole earth. So just imagine if we stop doing those things and we start building each other up, loving each other. You know what I'm saying? Make, you know, let each other know, compliment one another, let each other know that we are the greatest people on the earth. The whole world will do it too. You know what I'm saying? Because we are the chosen people of the Lord. We are the salt of the earth like the scriptures say, man. You know what I mean? Keep going. Cry loud, spill not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Huh? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You know what I'm saying? We got to be out here, out here in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Not in no Christian church. It's some big castle. You know what I'm saying? We got to be out here in the streets with our people that are on the front line. Risking our lives because we actually love black Hispanics and native people. We are risk our lives and let you know in the white man's kingdom that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And he don't give a damn about blacks, Hispanics, and natives. If you, don't think, if you think I'm lying, go look up on Bloomington and Franklin right now. You got the natives over there living in goddamn tents, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go ask any Mexican. Any, you know what I'm saying? They getting deported all over the earth. Black man getting shot in the streets. Blacks and Spanish and natives, you are the same people from 12 different tribes, man. You are the chosen right. people of the Lord, Damn man. Right. You know what I'm saying? We coming out here to tell you the truth, man. To show you real love, man. That's what we out here to do. You know what I'm saying? To wake our people up so we can build our own nation, so we can get these Arabs out of our hood selling us all this chicken and, and selling us gas in our neighborhoods. You go try to open up a goddamn soul food restaurant in Chinatown, see if you get any customers. Right. But we feed the Chinatown in our neighborhoods, the Asians in our neighborhood, but they don't put a goddamn swing in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? They don't put a basketball court up because they don't care about our people. They came over here to rape and rob our people, man, right, right. and send the money back to their people. But we came out here to let you know, man, that you are the chosen people of the Lord. Yeah, Blacks, right, Hispanics, right. and natives are the chosen people of the Lord, man. Yeah, and it's right. time for us to wake up and realize who we are so we can get out of this hell that we in. Yeah, you right. ain't got to die to go to hell. Right. You know That's the truth, too. You ain't got to die to go to hell, black man. You already in hell. What's more worse than what we have to do? Right. You know what I'm saying? What's more worse than having to go kill our own damn babies because we feel like we don't have enough money to support the baby that the Lord gave us? Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sorry about don't give none of them, don't go kill none of them babies. If you got a goddamn baby in your stomach and you thinking about killing it, come give it to the man of the Lord in the ISUPK. We ain't raise right. that young soldier up. We ain't raise that young princess up to be a strong man and woman of the Lord, man. Drop that baby off with us, man. You know what I mean? That is what the Lord has called us to do. To fix our people, to save our people, to raise our people up from the dead, That's to right. prophesy to these dry bones. Because all our people is out here thirsty and hungry and they want to need of all things. That's because right. the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. right. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? He don't give a damn about the, the, the rape, rob, and murder that he's done to the people. Everything he's got, he's got from rape, rob, and murder, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And all of his children, his purpose is, uh, is uh, 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 getting. Money off of it, you know what I'm saying? What right. word I'm looking for? You know what I'm saying? Profit. Uh, profit. So like, yeah. I, I gotta miss the word. You know, they they are profit, uh, getting profit off the off of the rape, rob, and murder of their people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which was, you know, the rape, rob, and murder happened to our people. So at the end of the day, man. And then, you know, straight up and down, man, we gotta get back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? Let's get it. Isaiah chapter 58, verse one. Cry aloud, spill not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. Hey, we, we are here to show our people their transgressions, man. To show them that the white man is the devil, and that that brother you hate right now is not your enemy. The, right. the white man is your enemy. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? Everybody who oppresses our people is your enemy. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Our sisters are to, are to not be treated as whores. Right. You know what I'm saying? Our brothers is not to be treated as criminals. You know what I'm saying? But we got to get back to that moral compass. We got to get back to it, man. To, to, you know what I'm saying? But the Christian pastors in these Christian churches have told, have shown you, you know what I'm saying, and taught you that the law is done away with. You can do whatever you want to do. That you can do whatever you want to do. 
You know what I'm saying? But the Bible was, it, it did not say that. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? The Bible did not say that. That's one thing. So we came out here to, uh, to, to break down these strongholds off your mind. Break it down the strongholds that the, that the law has done away with, that we can run around the earth doing whatever we want to do, go and whore and sell drugs all week and go into church on Sunday and apologize right. and everything's going to be okay. Right. That is not what the Lord said. You know what I'm saying? You cannot do whatever you want to do on this earth. Nothing shows you that you can do whatever you want to do on this earth and be okay. You know what I mean? If you don't water the grass, it's going to die. If you don't feed yourself properly, you're going to be out of shape. Everything has rules. And the most high made rules in the earth. Right, to right. keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. And blacks, Hispanics, Hispanics, and natives will be above the earth. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? That is what's going to get us up out of this hell that we in. Off the corners. Off the stripper poles. Right. Off the goddamn... In the, uh, the goddamn, uh, what you call it, the CLS, you know, uh, get, uh, giving our blood away for, for, for money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't, you know what I'm saying? We'll be out of this, the hell that we in if we keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? But this is your Christian pastor tell you that the law is done away with, but we're going to see what the Lord had to say. Right. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law. This is the Christ. This is uh, Yahweh Shah, Jesus Christ, as you call him, ignorantly. I like that. Amashiach, this is what you call him. This is him saying he didn't come to destroy the law. The, the pastor will tell you, you don't got to keep the law no more. You know what I'm saying? You can live how you want to live. You know what I'm saying? Christ died for your sins. But what did Christ say? Think not that I come to destroy the law. Christ said he didn't come to destroy the law, man. Right. He didn't die for you to be a homosexual. He didn't die for you to be a drug dealer. He didn't die for you to be a whore or a whore mother. You know what I'm saying? He didn't die for that. You know what I'm saying? That's Keep going. Right. Or the prophets. Or the prophets. He didn't die, you know what I'm saying, to destroy what Moses had put in place, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. But they'll tell you that the law is done away with, but they still collect tithes. Right. Which is a law. You know what I mean? That's how you know they are hypocrites, man. They still collect tithes, which is the law, but they tell you that all you got to do is say, you know, Lord, I'm sorry for being a whore, a whore monger, selling all these drugs all weekend. I apologize. What father would accept that? You right. told your child not to do these things all week. He come, you told your child not to hit you. Your child come slap you in the damn face. He can apologize. Come next week, slap you in the face. Apologize. Do it again the next week. You're going to say that child is a wicked child and he deserves to be destroyed, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't got no love for you and the rules that you've given him. That is what the Lord has said. Right. Your Christian pastor is a damn liar and he worships Satan. Right. He is, right. and he is the, uh, the he does what his father says, who is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. That's right. We don't smoke rocks. Think glad that I come to destroy the law and the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. The Lord didn't come to destroy the law, but he came to fulfill it. So that's the one, that's one of the things that the Christian church lied to you about. We come out here to tell you the truth. The law was not done away with. The reason we in this hell and on the bottom is because we're supposed to be on the top. But the thing that to make us be on the top is keeping the law of the commandments and your leaders tell you you don't have to keep them. Right. Your leaders is in cahoots with the white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of to keep you destroyed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we, we out here risking, you know, risking our lives in, a, in time for my families out here because we actually love black Hispanics and Native people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And we going to come out here because we ain't worried about nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is with us. You know what I mean? And we ain't worried about it. We, we come out here to do our father's business, man. That's right. You know what I mean? That's what we come out here for, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, once again, your enemy is not your brother. Your enemy is the white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Let's get on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get these scriptures, man. We're going to get all the scriptures because we ain't come out here to teach you our words. We coming out here to tell you what God says the Lord. What did the Lord say about the conditions that we in? The Lord didn't tell us to be in these conditions. The white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of put us in these conditions, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. what's going on. They don't give a damn about you. You know what I'm saying? Not a goddamn, man. They out here cutting up Nikes in the Christian church. Right. Cutting up Nikes in the Christian church, man. Because Kaepernick still took a knee for black, for police brutality, for black problems. 
That's just let you know. They don't give a damn about black problems. As long as you fight, if you fight for black problems, you can't get a job, they gonna protest you. But the Catholic, the Roman Catholic Church can rape and rob and molest children every day and nobody talks about it. Nobody has nothing to say about the Roman Catholic Church for that. You know what I'm saying? The football, they can, they can, they can uh, wear pink on their shoes to protest uh, breast cancer and, and speak on that. But you speak about bad problems, you don't get a job. Right. Nike spoke about it. Now you got Christian pastors cutting up Nikes. Right. But ain't nobody protesting the Catholic Church, man. The white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. Right. Black, black, Hispanics, and Native men, you are the chosen people of the Lord. We are the same people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we are the same people from 12 different tribes, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why the white man treats us like he, like he does. That's why our Native brothers are intense over here, over South. That's why our Mexican brothers is getting deported and that's why the black brothers are getting killed in the street right. because the white man is the devil that the man, Bible speaks right. like, man. man. You know what I mean? Well, we gonna keep, we gonna get it, man. This Christian church, but the Christian church is what they use to keep us sleep, to keep us around here dancing and singing all goddamn right. day, man. The Christian church is what they using to destroy our people. Our leaders using the Christian church to destroy us and keep us out here not trying to be the soldiers the Lord called us to be. First John chapter two verse three, and hereby we do know that we know Him. This is how you know that we know the Lord. Keep going. If we keep His commandments, if we do what? Keep His commandments. If we keep His commandments, that ain't got nothing to do with the, how the Lord made you feel in your heart. I got a personal relationship with the Lord. The Lord said, "How do you know the Lord?" If we keep his commandments, if we keep his commandments, is how you know the Lord. No Christian pastor is a liar because he don't keep the commandments. No Christian pastor teach you to divorce your women, to teach you that your, your the, the choir director can be a homosexual. That, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That he can be like that. The Lord made him that way is what they say. And how ridiculous is that? You got a goddamn dog that wants to be a chicken. Well, you gonna say, well, I, I bought a dog, but you know he wants to be a chicken, so I guess he a damn chicken. That is insanity, man. That is insanity, man. Wake up, blacks and Spanish and Adams. Don't conform to this world. Don't give in to the gift that they give you. You know what I'm saying? You be a homosexual, you be gay, you kill your own people. They they will give you gifts. You know what I'm saying? You won't be able to be on top. You be you cool for the white man? You, know, you be the house nigga, as you know what I'm saying, as they call it now? You will be on top. You know what I mean? That's how you gonna get it, but don't sell out. Don't sell out, because it ain't gonna be where you will be called least in the kingdom. Damn keep right. going. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Damn right. He that says, I know him, he that says, I know him. I know the Lord. That's a lot of your Christian pastors say, I know the Lord. Like, I know the Lord. You got your crosses around your neck, you know, putting crosses on your head, praying to the Lord. This is what the Lord said. He that says, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. He that says, I know him, and you don't keep the law of the Lord. You are not being telling the truth. You are here stealing and killing and robbing your own people. You are here being a homosexual. You are here being the devil that the Bible speaks of, who is the white man, by the way. He is a liar, and the truth is not in him. He is a what? A liar. And the truth is not in him. Your Christian pastor is a liar and the truth is not in him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't keep the laws, touches, and commandments of the Lord. He don't tell you that you are the chosen people of the Most High. He don't right. tell you that. He right. tell you that you got to love everybody when that is not of the Lord. He don't tell you that Christ is a black man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get that guy Revelations 1 and 13, man. He won't tell you that Christ is a black man, man. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Your Christian pastor is leading you astray. We are here in need of motivation, in need of something to pick our spirits up. Yeah, right. What if your pastor told you that Christ was a black man with hair just like yours? Maybe you wouldn't be in the goddamn slime burning your scalp off trying to look like a disgusting devil who's the Bible yeah, right. man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to look like some disgusting, you know what I'm saying, devil, man. You will love your hair and know that you got the best hair on the planet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your hair defies gravity. You let your hair go, it defies gravity. You know what I'm saying? You don't need sunscreen because the Lord blessed you with melanin. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? You don't need no damn sunscreen. The, 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 the sun kills these damn people, man. Damn right. You know what I mean? But that is, the, the Lord has made this earth for your sake. That's right. But you want to bleach it away. 
You want to perm your goddamn hair and burn your scalp off because you think your hair is ugly because the white woman said so. That white man is a disgusting dog, man. You know what I'm saying? That white man is a disgusting dog, man. You know what I'm saying? And he is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. And blacks, Hispanics, and natives are the best people on the planet, man. Your, your hair is the best hair on the planet. Your skin is the best skin on the planet, man. We gonna come out here and tell you what your Christian pastors want. You know what I'm saying? We gonna tell you the truth of the Bible. Let's get it. We're going to tell you that Christ is a black man and that that disgusting image right there right. Uh, is an imposter, man. Yeah, but that was right. not in the scriptures. You know what I mean? Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Revelation chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. In the midst of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks. One, like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot. This is Revelation. This is Revelation showing you what Christ looked like. This man is the devil, man. This is not. This is not Christ. This is an imposter. This is not what Christ looked like in the Bible. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. When you say devil, the, when you look up the word devil, it means deceiver. The white man has deceived you to worship him. If you, when you pray to God and you worshiping this, you are worshiping the white man, and that is not in the scriptures. That is not in the Bible. Let's see what the Bible says to what does that Christ look like. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. One like unto the Son of Man. We know Christ was called the Son of Man in the scriptures. The white man is the devil, man. This is not Christ. This is not what he said he looked like. Keep going. Clothed with the garment down to the foot. Christ said a, a, a was clothed with a garment down to the foot. Keep going. A girl about the patch with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle around his waist, man. A golden belt to curl the garment together. Keep going. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs was what? White like wool. His hairs and his head was white like wool. That is not white like wool. This is stringy dog hair. Right. His, you know what I'm saying? This is pale, disgusting skin. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is not thus says the Lord. This is a false image of God to make you worship the white man. Yeah. You know what I'm right. This is what's going on, man. We just reading the scriptures. If they're gonna give us the Bible to read, let's read it. I know right. you go in your church and you, you know, you sing and you dance and you slap a tambourine and run all over the church and holler, but do you actually read the Bible that says this? His head and his hairs were white like wool. His hairs and his hair was white like wool. Christ had really hair like you, black man. Right. And it was white. You know what I mean? Because he was gray. You know what I mean? That's what Christ had. Really hair. Right. He had hair just like you. So don't go in that damn salon bleaching your hair, right. perming your damn hair to try to look like some disgusting devil. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't go do that. You know what I'm saying? You got the best hair on the planet, black man. Damn right. Right. You can do anything with it. Damn right. You know what I mean? Let's get it. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like what? Unto fine brass. Okay, this is the next lie that the Christian church told you. They said his feet was a little like to fine brass. Anybody gotta look up brass and see the color of brass. This image is a false image of Christ, man. Yeah, right, right. Anybody can see this image is a false image. What is brass about this? Brass is a penny. You know what I'm saying? Brass is the color of a penny. Yeah, right. So what is he had woolly hair? This guy has stringy dog hair and it was white. Yeah, right. This ain't, you know, we all know this image, it ain't white. <laughs> stringy dog hair, you know what I'm saying? Pale, disgusting white skin. Right. You know what I mean? Keep going. As if they burned in a furnace. So not only was his feet bronze, not only were they bronze feet, bronze feet, but they were like what? As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. Yeah, right. If you put brass in a furnace, is it gonna get pale and white or is it gonna get dark? You know what I mean? It's gonna get dark. Not only was Christ a black man, he was a dark-skinned black man. Damn right! That's why they try to make our people hate their skin and bleach their skin because they don't want you to be like Christ. Because the, the, the white man and the fake Christians in your Christian church are not Christians. Damn right! Because Christians mean to follow Christ and be Christ-like. They are not like Christ. Right. If they were like Christ, they would be out here with us, join with us, 
teaching y'all who Christ really is, That's right. what he really look like, That's right. to keep the laws, justice, and commandments, right. and also that the white man is the devil that the Bible is. Right. You know what I mean? That's what they'll be teaching, man. You know what I'm saying? But your Christian church is in cahoots with the white man. You know what I'm saying? You got it on that right? So grab on um, Psalms 83 and 2. Man. You know what I'm saying? Your Christian pastors are in cahoots with them. They in cahoots to a, a, a prophesying on this image saying that this is the Lord. This is a false image of Christ and it needs to be stepped on. That's why we put it on the street. Cause that is not the image of Christ, man. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That is an imposter, man. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be a doormat in your houses to let your children know that it needs to be walked on and stepped on. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That is not Christ. You know what I'm saying? Christ is a black man, you know what I'm saying, from the tribe of Judah. Damn right! You know what I mean? And we are the true Jews of the Bible. Damn right. right! You know what I mean? Let's get it. So, chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, the iniquity of the people is make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. This white man hate you, and they have lifted up their head Damn against right. you. They hate us. That's why they kill us in the streets. That's why they, you know what I'm saying, rape, rob, and murder for natives. That's why they over there in tents. That's why the, 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 the Mexicans are being departed. Because they what? They that hate thee have lifted up the head. They hate blacks, Hispanics, and natives. Right. The white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of right. hates blacks, Hispanics, and native people. Man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why they do us like they do all through the earth. Damn that is right. why, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they hate us. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to love the people that hate you. How about giving that love to your own people? That's right! Love your next door neighbor. Love that sister. Tell that sister, you know, I'm not going to sell you drugs. Right. You know, tell that brother, I'm not going to kill you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Try forgiving the brother. You know what I'm saying? You're quick to forgive the white man for killing us in the streets. Try to forgive a brother, you know what I'm saying, for something he's done horrible to hurt you, man. Damn right! Try to do that. Keep going. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Yes, they have taken crafty counsel against us. Right. Crafty counsel was killing us in the street. Right. Crafty counsel is putting drugs in all our communities. Right. Playing parenthood, that is crafty. Right. You know what I'm saying? You go, it's like you go in the, the white neighborhoods, you don't see liquor stores on every corner. Right. That is crafty counsel that's been put against our people. To have liquor stores on every corner. Right. You know what I mean? You don't see playing parenthoods in their neighborhood. Right. Playing parenthoods is where our sisters go and kill their babies. Right. You see that in our hoods. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to stand on a damn corner in Edina or in Anoka or somewhere like that. They're not going to allow you to stand on their corners because it's crafty counsel that's been put against us. This is the trap. That was the best name a black man ever gave for this drug dealer. It's the trap. Right. Right. It's a trap to destroy you and your people. Damn right. you know what I'm saying? It's a trap, man. It's a tra if you don't believe it, look at your conditions all through the earth. You in tents over South Minneapolis, right. you getting deported all over the earth, right. and black men is getting killed in the streets. Right. We are the same people, man, and the right. white man is the devil that the Bible yeah, speaks right. of, man. That's right. You know what I'm that is what's going on in this earth, man. And we gotta we, we gotta fix ourselves first, though. We gotta fix ourselves first, man. That's what's gonna get us up out of this hell. Keep going. Right. So chapter 83, verse 3. They're taking crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And they just said, Let us cut them off from what? Being a nation. Let us cut them off from being a nation. You know what I'm saying? That's what they did in slavery. That's why we couldn't read. It wasn't that we actually couldn't read. You know, they let us read, but we couldn't read the Bible to show us who we were. We couldn't speak our language. You know what I'm saying? That's what we couldn't do. We couldn't be our people. They wanted to cut us off from our nation. You cut a person off from his nation, like us, like the scripture said. You know, they they destroyed us. We had a yoke around our neck until we was destroyed, like the scripture said. You know what I'm saying? They took the yoke off our neck because now the yoke is on our brains. Right. We don't believe we slaves no more. Harriet Tubman said it the best. She said, Harriet Tubman said she could have freed more slaves if they only knew they were slaves. Right. Our people don't know that they slaves. Just because you can, they allow you to stand on the damn corner. They allow you to swing on a stripper pole. They allow you to sell drugs to your own people. Yeah, you don't know you a slave. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing Harriet Tubman did that we, back in the day, man, when she was trying to free her people, man. Damn right. All people don't know that they slaves. Damn if right. If we knew that we slaves, more of us would be freed, man. Right. Less of us would be in prisons. Damn right. You know what I mean? This is what we got to do. We got to get out of this hell, man. You know what I'm saying? They, this is crafty counsel that's been brought up against our people, man. Right. They have taken crafty counsel against our people and consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let, them, let us cut them off from being a nation. We are not a nation. You know what I'm saying? We are a spare people who every other nation comes feed off of. The Arabs feed off of us. The Asians feed off of us. The white man destroys us and then feeds off of us. He turns and makes our own people feed off his own people. That is what they call a cannibalism. We, we are spiritual cannibals to our own people, man. You know what I'm saying? Killing each other and feeding off each other, man. That is time for us to get together, recognize who our enemy is, and so the Lord can be with us and destroy our enemy. Because the scriptures say the, the world was given into the hands of the wicked. That's what the scriptures say. The Lord is the, the Lord is giving it to the hands of the wicked. Who runs the earth? Who is the one number one superpower? The white man runs the earth, and the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? That is your enemy, not your brother, not that brother next door who's struggling just like you, not that brother who's selling dope on the block who got a little bit more money than you. Now you want to rob him? That is not your enemy. Damn right. Walmart is a, a, a Fortune a, a 500 company, billion dollar company, and you working for them for $15, you ain't trying to rob them? Right. You know what I mean? Cut it out, man. Stop hating. It's, it's, it's called Stockholm Syndrome. It's called self-hate. You know what I'm saying? This white man has made you hate yourself and hate your own people, man. You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to wake up and get up out of this hell that we in, man. Damn right. Grab uh, first, uh, first chapter three and four, man. It's time for us to wake up and get up out this hell. I'm tired, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord says it's time for us to prepare slaughter for these people. Yeah, right. <laughs> to be above and not to be the head and not the tail. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to get take our rightful place in this earth. Take your rightful place in this earth, black like, man, above all people. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Not just for their entertainment, not just for their singing and dancing, but for rulership. You know what I'm saying? Rule these people. You are the best people on the planet. Damn you are right. better than all these people on the planet. Damn your right. hair is better than theirs. Damn your skin right. is better than theirs. Right. You're smarter than them. Right. You look better than them. Damn Everything right. about the black Hispanic and native man is better than the white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks Damn of. Right. And his woman. Right. You know what I'm saying? Love your people and love yourself, man. You know what I mean? Let's get it. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressors also the law. That's another one for your, you know what I'm saying, your Christian pastors. Talking about the law is done away with, but you, you know what I'm saying, but sin is the transgression of the law. Keep going. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law, man. Your Christian pastor is a liar and a devil and a deceiver, which is what devil means. That's right. All right. And ye know that he was manifested to take away all sins. Right, so grab, uh, drop that grab on um, uh, 1 John 3 and 18, man. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna, we gonna, man, just, like I said, man, we, we came out here for blacks, Hispanics, and natives to show you who you are and where you come from, who your people is. The black man is the real Jews of the Bible. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. You are the real Jews. You are not an African. We ain't no Africans. We ain't none of that. Yeah, you are right. the real Jews of the Bible. That's the black right. man is the Jew. You know what I'm saying? Grab, matter of fact, grab Jeremiah 14 and 2 real quick just to prove it. We all, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, we the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We are the real Jews of the Bible, man. Yeah, right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native, we are the real yeah, Jews. And the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Hey, throw that shit down, man. No, that's the devil's on the ground because it's a doormat. Because it's a false image. You know what I mean? That's why it's on the ground. You know what I mean? Step on it. That's what it's supposed, it's supposed to be a doormat. Because that's not what the Lord said that Christ looks like. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's on the ground to be stepped on. 
You know what I'm saying? The spit on. Because the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know what I'm saying? He thinks he can come around and do whatever he wants to you, our people. It's over with for that. We ain't out here to be weak no more. You know what I'm saying? We out here to be soldiers and raise up mighty men to prepare for war, to prepare slaughter, man. We out here to prepare for war, man. We ain't out here to be soft and weak. The Lord said he requires a soldier, not some weak, feminine man running around in the church slapping tamarines, man. Step on that devil, man. That is the devil. That's right. That is the devil, man. That is not what the Lord says he look like, man. That is the devil, man. Come on, man. That is what the Lord said. We, we, we out here to be a real man of the Lord. Yeah, right. Real man. You know what I'm saying? Not some effeminate homosexual, man. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? Our man is supposed to be soldiers. That's why we built different than women. We ain't supposed to be out here acting like women. We were made to be soldiers and warriors, man. Yeah, right. Not some soft, feminine homosexual, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get that spirit off you, man, and come be a real man of the Lord, man. Yeah, I know right. the Christian church that made you that made you think that the Lord is about some soft slapping and hugging and kissing every damn body. That is not what the Lord said. He is a man of war, and he's coming back to take the hands off of sinners, man. Yeah, right. Let's get it. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. Judah morning. When you look up the word Judah, it means Jew. That's that's uh, the Jews in mourning. The white man who, who called himself Jewish, that's why he called himself Jewish. If I had a shirt that was black-ish, that means it's not really black. If I had, you know what I'm saying, if it was nine-ish, that means it's not really nine o'clock. The Jewish man is a Jewish. He ain't no real Jew, man. Judah mourning in the gates thereof language. Judah mourning in the gates thereof language. The eye gates, the leaders who supposed to protect us, they language. They've taken that bag. They've taken that gift and, and, and sold us out. Now I'm saying our gates language, we don't have protection no more. Anybody can come in our communities and destroy us and treat us like garbage and keep us down and destroy, man. Anybody can do it to us. Because our gates language. But the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Let's keep going. They are black. They are what? Black. Color is in the Bible. That's they are right. black. The Jews are black. Yeah, right. Blacks, Hispanics, and natives are the real Jews, and the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks yeah, of. Right. Right. The, right. we say devil, the devil means a liar yeah, and deceiver. Right. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? He, he lied and deceived his way all the way to the top. Yeah, right. you know what I'm he came to this country and raped, robbed, and pillaged the native Indians who tried to love and, and be with him and teach him how to live in harmony. Right. But the white man can't live in harmony with the earth because he's a cancer in the earth. Man. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? He kills and destroys everything he touches in the guy. Damn earth. Right. You know what I mean? And that's the, and that's the truth, man. That is that says the Lord, that is the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get it, man. We're gonna get to the bottom of this whole thing. We're gonna hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Damn as the scriptures right. say, man. Grab uh, go, let's grab, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh Isaiah 14 and 21 and finish it up. We're gonna get the conclusion. Like we said, we came out here to let you know that you are the chosen people of the Lord. The reason that you're in the position that you're in is because you're not keeping the law of the and commandments. You have conformed to the lifestyle of the devil. You have conformed to the lifestyle of the white man. You are, his, you are the now the gangsters. You are the real gangsters. The gangsters was Al Capone, John Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Poverty brings crime. All right? You're not a criminal because you're black. You're being right. a criminal because you're poor. Okay? Not because you're black. When the white man was poor, John Gotti and Al Capone was created. You know what I'm saying? It's not because you're poor that we're criminal. I mean, because we're black, it's because we're poor, man. But the man who has us poor is the white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Yeah, right. Stop fighting your own people. You know what I'm saying? Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't fight against your own, man. I don't work, you know what I mean? Love your people, man. And know who your enemy is. Let's get it. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter. The Lord said prepare slaughter for your enemy, man. This is what the Bible says. This is the King James Bible. Prepare slaughter, man. Keep going. That's for right. his children. For his children. We gonna get it. We ain't gonna stop getting it. We gonna keep getting it for his children. I know you got a white people who they they ain't they didn't have slaves, but they are accessories to the crime of slavery. Damn they right. are reaping the benefits of slavery. And the Bible says what? Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. Prepare slaughter for this white man, man, for the iniquities of their fathers. 
their fathers rape, robbed, and murdered your fathers, and now their kingdom is glorious because of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna we gonna prepare slaughter for them and destroy this place. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That's what's what that's what time it is, man. It's time to prepare slaughter for them, man. Keep going. That they do not rise, nor possess the land. That they don't rise and possess the land no more. They've been in power, they possess the land, and the earth is polluted. The right. water is polluted. Right. Everybody's destroyed. Right. You know what I'm saying? The white man kills everything he touches. Right. Right. You know what I mean? That is what's going on in the earth, man. This is common sense. This is practical knowledge, as we say. Right. You know what I mean? Let's get it. Nor feel the face of the earth. Which cities? Yeah, they don't need to have the face of Oakland cities no more. No more cities in Oakland for them. No more rulership. It's over with for them, man. You know what I'm saying? Grab You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's time, black man. Black is and the native. It's time for us to rise up and get back to our natural uh, habitat. Get back to our natural lifestyle. And that's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. We're trying to get back there. You know what I'm saying? Get back to keeping these law, statutes, and commandments so we can have the Lord with us. So when this World War III comes, that's coming. If you got eyes and ears, you see that World War III is coming. And the white man will be destroyed in World War III, man. But you will be destroyed with him if you don't get under the protection of the Lord. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? If you don't get under the protection of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? And start serving your God. Let's get it. Psalm chapter 137 verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. O daughter of who? Babylon. This is Babylon, man. Everything that was going on in Babylon of old, this is spiritual Babylon right now, man. The same things that was going on back then is going on now. Murder, homosexuality, drug dealing and drug use. Killing of your own people, incest, all the horrible things on the earth is going on right now in America. You know what I'm saying? That, that, this is the Babylon, man. Prepare for World War III. If you ain't paying attention, World War III is on the way. Donald Trump is at war with everybody. Get yourself together, man, or you will be destroyed with this white man, man. Yeah, right. That's right. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that reward thee as thou hast served us. Man, happy will we be. That what? Right. Has served us. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Man, happy will we be that rewarded them as they rewarded Damn us. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? They will have that reward and we will have ours. Damn and that right. is thus says the Lord. That man ain't my words, man. This is thus says the Lord, man. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? So we gon' we gon' you know what I'm saying? This is why we came out here, cause we actually love blacks, Hispanics, and Native people. That's we right. We came out here to give out real love. You know what I'm saying? To our people. That's cause right. nobody else is gonna give this love. Nobody else is gonna show our people love. They're gonna kill our people in the streets. When we talk about our problems, they're gonna demonize us for doing that. Right. We can't stand up for our problems. We can't take a knee for our problems. Right. We can't speak right. about nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? But let you say forget 9-11. Right. The white man uh, 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 die because of that. Right. He tell you to forget, never forget 9-11, but right. forget everything you went through in slavery. Right. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks Damn about. Damn right! You know what I mean? Come on, man. It's ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna get out this hell, man. You know what I'm saying? But we gotta get back to who we are. Get back to serving the most high. So we can destroy these people and have them licking the dust from our boots. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That's what's supposed to happen. Keep going. Happy shall he be. Salaka, grab uh, Isaiah uh, 49 or 23. We're going to end it with this, man. Let's start uh, packing up. Or oh, somebody. <laughs> so somebody. Need to... So yeah, we're going to. Uh, uh, Grab that, man, Isaiah 47, man. We better get up out of here, man. But like I said, we came out here. We came out here to show you who you really are, your real position on the earth, blacks, Hispanics, and natives. That's why we came out here, man. 
because we love blacks, Hispanics, and native people. We, we want to see you on top and not on the bottom. Yeah. And we got we want to show you who your enemy really is. That man that's right. as though he was not your enemy. Yeah, he's right. in a position who, that he's in because of the white man. The white man is the devil that the Bible yeah, speaks right. to. That's, right. that's why our people are in hell that we in, man. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And we, it's time for us to wake up and stop fighting ourselves and get ourselves together so we can rule this earth once again. Because under the rulership of the white man, we've been destroyed. You know what I'm saying? We've been destroyed under this rulership. He, like I said, he destroyed everything in the earth. The water, the air, pollution, everything is destroyed, man. The, 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 goddamn, the goddamn sharks, he can't go swimming in the ocean without a shark trying to kill his ass because the sharks know that he is the devil. You know what I mean? That, that's what's going on. You know what I mean? So, man, well, with that, man, we are the ISUPK under command of General Yohan out of 125th, Harlem, New York, man. Get in class, man. Like I said, ain't no such thing of homelessness in the ISUPK. Ain't no such thing as being hungry in the ISUPK. We look out for our brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? We build houses for them. We, we give them food. We get help them find slaves that call jobs. We look out for our people, man. You know what I'm saying? But we need soldiers who, who is ready to live their life for the Lord. If you want to continue to be a disgusting person you've been your whole life, continue to be that, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to continue to serve the Lord and be great and live righteously, man. So if you're tired of being homeless, you're tired of being one and need around things, man, you know what I'm saying? Serve the Lord, man. That's what you got to do. Serve the Lord, man, and join the ISUPK, man, because we don't play homelessness and, 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 uh, and being our people being the one and need of all things. Yeah, right. All right? Get in them classes. Monday through Friday, go online. Subscribe to everything ISUPK. Everything ISUPK online, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, man. Yeah, With that, right. Shalom, Israel. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't let nobody tell you crack. You know why? Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord